Hi, Strings 2 class. Miss Fong here. Um, I just want to say I miss you guys. I miss seeing you uh, every week um, for class. And um, I hope that you're having a good time or fun time with your um, online distance learning with your teachers. I know your teachers are doing a great job um, for elementary and middle school. And I hope that you're having fun with it. Make sure you let them know. Thank you for doing uh, for all the work that they do for you. Um, so now I just want to get into what we're going to be doing um, for the time being since we don't have an actual meeting time for Zoom and whatnot. Um, so what I'll be doing is doing a weekly video, lesson video, just playing through your pieces as we go along. Um, just more of a review since this is strings two class and we mainly have a set of pieces to work on. I probably won't be doing um, too much of a weekly, like a full on weekly video. It'll just be more of an update what you should be doing. Um, and I'll be playing more of what you'll be practicing in your elements book or your essentials elements book here. Uh, this is the one that we'll be continually moving on with, but then you're still gonna continue playing your, um, I believe it's four pieces. The, uh, what do we have here? We have the needles and pins. We have Hickory Dickory Dock, uh, Minuet, uh, Minuet in G, and so forth. Uh, I think there's one more, but I will need to look for that. Uh, so, but this week, I'm just gonna start you off a little bit slower, uh, probably going through Hickory Dickory Dock, and then we're gonna go through our elements, just making sure we keep up with our skills. Um, and don't forget, you have your scales to do. So that's what we're gonna start with today. We're gonna start with our scales. Please take out your building major tetrachord. And we're gonna go through a few. I'll just kind of probably skip around a little bit, save some for next week as well. But you should be keeping up with this so that you remember your fingering as well as what sharps are needed in each scale. Oh, and also we are practicing the differentiation between quarter notes, eighth notes, whole notes, etc as well as bow skills so long bows short bows slurred bows connecting two notes together and changing in between strings so let's get started we're going to start with the a major tetrachord scale here we go not too fast not too slow just medium for you guys one two three and for a sec but you guys know what I'm trying to do okay we're gonna flip over to the next side we're gonna skip E we're gonna go on to D and G D and G here we go one two ready and <laughs> Okay, so you saw how I use my fourth finger 
you guys, um, you can choose to use your fourth finger, you could choose not to use your fourth finger, but I would highly recommend to use that fourth finger because uh, within that scale, we're only using D and that's the only note that is off string, right? So let's use that fourth finger so that we don't have to transfer back to one string and then pat transfer back to the other string. Stay on that G string with the fourth finger. Okay, let's move on. We have one more set to go. Um, the one octave subdivision, please take that out. One octave subdivision. And uh, we're gonna start with, we did A major already. We did D major, but um, you know, let's do the full octave scale for A major and then we'll stop it there for warm ups today. Okay, here we go, or for this week, sorry. Okay, here we go. One, two, ready, and. Good job. Remember that last section where it does the full octave all the way up in 16th notes. You can use slurs there. We grouped it in four. Don't forget to do that. That way it's easier just to play the 16th up and play the 16th back down because when you play individual notes, your bow is going to get a little confused. You're going to get confused. So let's play a safe slur four notes within the 16th notes. All right, moving on. I'm just going to go straight into your elements book. Go ahead and take out that little purple book. Um, while you guys are taking that out, I just want to remind you that um, if in case you need all the um, the homework assignments and what we're doing, I'll be listing them down below in the description box when you hit that YouTube when you're on that YouTube link. So don't forget to look in the description box. Um, and also, um, if you ever need extra help. Uh, I'm going to be sending an email out to your parents and it's going to say that I am available on Zoom when you schedule a time with me. So because we don't have a scheduled time with Zoom, with the school, with RCS, um, you specifically or your parents can send me an email and ask Miss Rachel or Miss Fong, when are you available? And I will reply back and say when I am available. Um, I'm not teaching every hour of the day for the high school, but um, I do teach at certain times during the day. So I'll just let them know what times I'm available, if it's during school hours or what times I'm available after school. So just let uh, send me an email just to give me a heads up like, hey Miss Fong, I need some help. Can you Zoom with me? And I'll say, of course. Here's a Zoom time I'm available, here's my code, and so on. So um, don't feel um, don't feel bad that you're not getting it uh, automatically. If you need help, I am here. Just let me know. Um, I will try my best to explain myself through these videos as well, um, but I know you guys are pretty, pretty smart, so I think you guys can be able to handle it. Um, here we go. We're on page 24, and that's where we left off last time, page 24 to page 30. Um, I am hoping to move on. Uh, if you feel uh, that you know these pages super, super well, be my guest and move on. The next section I'll announce at the end of this video after I get through everything so we don't confuse everybody. But um, here we go, page 24. Um, now page 24, if you look at it, it's review of fourth fingers on the A string. We're looking at a low fourth finger on the A string as well as a low fourth finger on the E string. Now, what are those notes that we'll be playing using the low four and a low four on both A and E? Well, if you guessed, or if you know, um, the correct answer is E flat on the A string and B flat on the E string. So good job, guys. Um, so for that page, I feel like we've have we have talked about that and we have worked on fourth fingering. It's just more of being aware of 
what note you have. So if we look here in the beginning of uh, most of our songs, we have a key signature, right? And there in the key signature, that tells you how many flats you need to play. So always be aware of what your piece or your song is letting you know. So we're gonna skip over to page 25 and it says one on number 112, B flat major. B flat major scale has how many flats, boys and girls? Correct, two flats. What are our, what are our two flats? Well, we notice the first one is on the third line and we go every good boy does fine so we have the b flat and then we have the next flat in the fourth space how do we remember our spaces f a c e top space is e flat um this is mainly a review from what you have gone over with with mrs main um back in kindergarten to third grade so um if you remember that great if this is review try to remember it now for future references but okay so we know our scale has b flat and e flat so let's go ahead and incorporate that into the scale since this is b flat major scale what note do you think we'll be starting on good b flat and what finger will we be using for that b flat Good, a low one on the A string. Great, let's start with 112, here we go. One, two, ready, and. Low four. Good, again, low one. And then guess what, we have a C natural, so low two, three in regular tape position, low four for E flat, and so forth for the E string. Okay, Mountain Deer Chase, let me turn this a little bit just so you can see my fingering a little bit better as I am playing. Okay, here we go, we're on number 113, B flat on the E string, here we go. One, two, ready, and. job here we go 114 one two ready and oh and that's a half note at the end sorry guys but you guys know good 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 all right next page let's look at that okay we've gone over this we have gone over this six eight time so we just did four four two, four, three, four, whatever. Bottom note is the four, right? Four. Four means the quarter note gets the beat. Now we're switching over to six, eight. Six, eight time. We know the top number six means how many beats are in a measure. Now, if I just told you the bottom number four meant a quarter note gets the beat, what does it mean when there's an eight on the bottom? And we talked about this, don't forget, we talked about this. This is part of Hickory Dickory Dock. Same time as Hickory Dickory Dock. Okay, if you guess right, the eight means the eighth note now gets the beat. So rather than doing one, two, three, four, the speed is gonna be a little bit faster. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, here we go. Um, we're gonna skip the first two, first three. So not to 115, 117. We're gonna skip down to 118 to row, row, row your boat. Now, we've been doing rounds in class, yes? or cannons, whatever you want to call it. Um, but we don't have that right here. We are only playing one-on-one -on -one right now. Video, video Miss Fong to you guys. So if you would like to play around, you can wait till I finish my first, uh, first two measures. And then after I finish my first two measures, you guys can go ahead and play that round um, 
part for yourself. Uh, I'll be, if you want to video yourself and showing me that you're doing it, that would be great. I would love to watch you guys. Uh, but yeah, so that's a one way for you guys to be able to do a round while um, doing this virtual video method. Okay, here we go. I'm going to start first. If you want to do the round, make sure you wait two measures and then start from the beginning. Or if you just want to play along with me, be my guest. Here we go. 118. One, two, ready, and one, two, three, one, two. Gave you some time in case you did the round all right here we go we're gonna do 119 this is where the slurs come in don't be scared about them remember slur means um, as many notes worth in that curve line you are using that in one bow movement one bow movement here we go 119 one two three four five six <laughs> Right, good job. Let's move on. Jolly good fellow. One, two, three, four, fuzz. Good job. Okay, so for the sake of YouTube um, and the limit I'm supposed to upload, I'm gonna stop it here for part one. Please go over and click part two link um, on my YouTube page. I'll see you there.